Hello, uh, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Pray uh, Banjo Kazooie. I apologize if the uh, uh, sound is out of sync, but unfortunately, my uh, audio didn't work the first time, and so I'm having to do um, commentary whilst I'm watching rather than um, live commentary. So the audio might be a bit out of sync. I mean, as you can see, um, you've had to do a few attacks to get rid of that thing in the boat and then jump uh, up onto that plank in order to get this. So you should be able to hopefully fall on with what's happening on screen even if I'm not uh, explaining it. The water looks a bit different here, but it's still poisonous. I mean, it's still coming in through the bay, through that gap, so it is still going to hurt you even if you don't dive. Uh, hopefully the audio is still uh, okay, I've, I've done my best with it, I don't know why the recording didn't, uh, didn't pick up probably on the audio the first time. Um, there are bits where I pause and sort of look around like this. I wasn't sure how many to leave in and how many to take out. It's sort of hard to edit a video when it doesn't have live commentary because there were pauses where I probably said something and the recording didn't work, but I still I was still saying it. It just didn't work when I actually came to edit the video. So there are pauses where I may have been talking, and of course now I don't remember what I was saying. So I've uh, I've cut some out and cut some in. Uh, fortunately, that means I get another um, life part, which is um, which is very useful and such a hard level. I've got a feeling it's going to take me quite a while to complete Rusty Bucket Bay. But never mind, so uh, if you remember correctly, um, we, we had a shark to deal with, fortunately I have more pieces of lives now, but it still manages to get me a couple of times, fortunately there's this kind of fence here. I don't know if it's the same shark, the original shark was more talkative, you know? Sometimes it helps, although I obviously haven't thought of it by this point to keep on jumping nicely in the water, rather like avoiding the shark by jumping only. This time you're avoiding getting hurt, if you see what I mean. See, there's another long pause there, and that one I decided to cut out. You had to be very careful not to slide off the roof here. So make sure you keep the button um, on, I've forgotten which button it is now, so I uh, yeah, don't have the controller in front of me, to keep yourself riding on Kazooie. Kazooie is female, I don't know if you know that. Um, Kazooie is also the one that's not a bear, and frankly Banjo looks heavier than Kazooie, so I'm not sure how Kazooie is able to carry him. But apparently, Kazooie is. So, so yeah, I decided that I should rescue that. Well, it's actually a dolphin, I think, not a shark. It doesn't quite look like a shark. I did use a strategy guide for this. When I've used the strategy guide, I'm going to admit it. So, I like the noise it makes. Well, I, I don't like it that much because it sounds like it's in pain, but it also does kind of sound like a dolphin, I think. And that's cool. I think. I don't know what an actual dolphin sounds like. Never heard a dolphin. But it, it sounds cool, I think. I like it. And uh, yeah, this is basically a matter of making sure you're on the opposite side of the corridor to the side that has the holes in it. Uh, sorry about that, that seemed to pause for a second, I don't know if that's going to show up on once it's fully edited or what. 
Um, and if it sounds even more out of sync now, it means it means the video was pausing for some reason, but it didn't pause once everything had actually been edited together. If you see what I mean. So there was a pause for me whilst recording this commentary, but there wasn't a pause for you. And the sound will now be even more out of sync. There's nothing I can do about that. It is what it is. Hopefully there'll be no more pauses. You see how Banjo is moving really slowly there? Um, that's because with my controller, if you fight in a certain direction, because the controls don't work very well, Banjo suddenly moves quickly and then moves really slowly again, or occasionally moves on his own, and that's just annoying. Yeah, I think I've already apologised enough for the sound now. However it ends up being is how it ends up being. So yeah, it's best to go and leave this place, go upwards and get uh, get up out of the water, and then go back down again and get the puzzle piece I can find. Yes, I think the sound is a tad out of sync. Because uh, you don't really have time to get the puzzle piece and get out of there at the same time, so... And sometimes a controller does that! Makes me dive or jump downwards. So yeah, but... The troll tells you how many eggs you need to, uh, to put in there. I suspect it takes more processing power for it to record my audio on Audacity, which is what I use to record the audio, and to um, play a video at the same time, which I have to do in order to record the audio not, not live. Uh, I couldn't figure out a way of getting those things because they're they're slightly far out uh, from this this bridge. They're not directly above the bridge, so we will have to wait until the next episode or whenever I discover how to do it. I intend to get those. That doesn't mean I will. It just means I intend to. Technically, you don't need to see this bit, because it doesn't show you anything useful. But I thought I would show it off anyway, just in case it's interesting. So, yeah, this takes you to a room you've already been in. Never mind. If you blinked, you may have missed it, but trust me, it went into a room that you've already been in. That switch that we just passed was a switch where you've got a time limit, and I was hoping that doing all of these toll things would help with that. And I'm still not sure how to, to work with the time limit either in order to get back onto the ship but in time, but never mind, I'm sure that will be coming up in another episode as well. So, I think it's about, the audio is about 8 seconds ahead. So yeah, you need to be on the uh, uh, stack, this, uh, smoke stack, that's closest to TNT here. I don't know if there's a way to do it without getting hurt. I also don't know if, well, you'll see in a minute, but remember that, uh, which um, thing is there. Uh... 
always concerned with these ladders that I'm gonna miss the ladder and sort of fall all the way down. Now, in a way, this is pretty useful because it means I can finally get inside the ship. But in another way, I don't know if it's made it harder for me to get to the witch switch or not. I don't think it'll be impossible. I don't think the game would allow me to do that if it's impossible. Most people who create computer games know how to uh, avoid making you accidentally do something that makes it impossible to complete the level. But, it may have made it harder for myself. I don't really need to show off myself crossing these various bridges either, but some of them I need to show off and some of them I don't. Oh yeah, I suppose I ought to tell you how to get to these cold things. So obviously use the TNT crane uh, crate to get to uh, these specific ones, and then there's one of them, I forget which one, but you need to know about all of them anyway where um, you need to get back to the toxic waste bit that also has a shark in it. And the other one you should just be able to see from the ship uh, directly opposite you with a ladder leading up to it. So they're fairly easy to find. I don't know why I paused it there. They really don't mind having, they, they quite like these things I think on here because it, it makes the timer really awkward so I think that's timing awkward for, for you whilst you're playing so I think that's why these, uh, these monsters are here. And I finally managed to get one of those and it seems like there's still a lot of stuff to be done. But never mind. Now I've kept this bit in the video to specifically show you how how slowly he moves. Basically, you can see him moving slowly there, or in a few seconds of hand, or a few seconds ago, you could. And uh, that's why I had to destroy them um, because it's. The, the controller was too messed up for me to do anything else, really. Alright, we're coming up on the end of the video, so assuming this doesn't automatically cut off because of the sound being out of sync, um, I'm going to say goodbye now. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. I'm sorry if there's a lot of space now with no sound in it.